hello people hello please listen to me now and now it's the time that you have to listen i've put it my bible on the side because most of the time when i talk to you you look at me as i'm the one who, who wrote those words i'm telling you now ma, special people who are younger like me now it's time to do what God wants us to do for him. I know we in that situation where the world told us sin is believing. But Jesus said to us, believe first so you can see. You know, all these people, the icons, the idols, they don't last people. I know they can be greater now, super amazing, doing the sport, athletes, and everything. But when they get to the age of 16, 50, they retire, and we forget about them. We forget that they even existed. So me, as a child of a God, coming to you, preaching for you, ignoring me, ignoring my message, ignoring who I am, to you all. As I am here giving truly, truly, truly what comes out of my heart, what comes out of this world, the Bible, you know, you ignore me. It's fine because I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be rich for this. It's what I was born for. All the things that I see, I know we are not all who see. But how can you have Jesus Christ's power without loving Jesus Christ as a father. How can you have his authority to see the ghost, the unliving thing, the thing that hiding sin, hiding things? How could we have that power, the authority to have it when you hate Jesus Christ as a father? How can you prophesy when you hate Jesus Christ as a father? I came to make this sin, this thing as what is given to us? I know I am young, patient about it, putting God everywhere I go, trusting Him, giving the, giving the scriptures to, do, to those who stay in the streets, to, to those who are rich, to those who manage me, to those who supply me, those who lead me, those who I look up as their father, they are the father to me. I give my message everywhere where I go, but still, you can't even sit down and take your book and read the scriptures and forget because wherever you go you can't always carry, carry me you can't put me into your house we have to be alone when Satan come to you we don't know we don't have to say in Jesus Christ's name Satan would look at you and, and tell you I know Jesus Christ who are you he even said on the scripture that Satan said, I will show you who I am. I will smack you. I will give you your daughter into your face. I will give your mother into your face. I will give you the kind of Satan that I am. So you can't chase me by Jesus Christ's name. Who are you to chase me into, away from your life? It is written in the book how to chase Satan. We as young people, and I'm maybe 40 people, 35 people, they're acting like a boys. They're no longer a mature people. People who can see them and respect them and say, this is a man that I see him as a man. People like me, they are full of ignorance. That's why when they even pray, they go fast. Fast in the prayer. Baba, thank you for forgiving me this day. Amen. What is this? Why are we keeping this thing to us? Satan is making us to ignore the word of God. To ignore, not knowledge, him as a father to us. Those idols that you see, they will never last. We, will, we have already forgotten that we had a marathon. The superstar player, we already forget that we, we had Ronaldinho. 
But him, him, where are we putting him? Where are we putting Jehovah into our life? Where are we putting Jesus into our life? Why we want his gift, his glory to come to us if we are not acknowledging him as the child of the living, of the, as the child who is the living father? Why are we keep doing this? 